In this tutorial, you will learn how to use action and new conditional actions. But before we start, take a moment to subscribe to our channel and make sure to press the bell button to be the first to know about our new videos. Actions are automated chain of commands that are executed upon your request. You can record actions of tasks that you do repeatedly to make your workflow faster. For demonstration purposes, we will show you how to add a watermark to your photo. Open a photo of your choice. Go to Window, Action. Click on the New Action icon. Enter an action name, select an action set, and set additional options if you desire. Once you click Record, the new action will be created and the recording will start. Now, perform the operations and commands you want to record. In this video, we will be going through adding a text layer, repositioning it, and changing its blending mode as well as opacity to make it into a watermark. To stop recording, either click the Stop Playing Recording button or choose Stop Recording from the Actions panel menu, or press the Escape key. Now for every new photo you want to watermark, all you have to do is open up the image, select the action, and click Play. Conditional actions let you build actions that choose what to do based on one of the several different conditions. First, you choose a condition and then optionally specify an action that plays if the document meets the condition. Then you optionally specify an action that plays if the document does not meet the condition. For this example, we will create a conditional action that will crop an image into a square for Instagram. If the image is square originally, then nothing will happen. To start off, you need to create two actions, one that performs the action and another one that has the conditional trigger. Create the first one that just crops the image into a square. To create the conditional trigger, create a new action Go to Actions menu bar and click Insert Conditional. Choose If Current Document is Square and leave Then Play Action as None, meaning if the photo is already square, nothing happens. For Else Play Action, choose the action that you created earlier. Now click OK and make sure the newly created action isn't recording any more of your steps. Click Run to test the action. And finally, you can use Actions to batch process your files. To do this, make sure that all of the files are in a single folder of their own. Choose File, Automate, Batch. In the Set pop-up menu, select the set that contains the action. In the Action pop-up menu, select the action that you want to apply. In the Source pop-up menu, select Folder, Click the Choose button, navigate to the folder that you want to use and click Choose. In the Destination area, tell Photoshop what to do with each file after the action has been applied to. Choose one from the drop-down menu. None leaves the file open on your Photoshop desktop without saving it. Save and Close closes the file in the same folder in which Photoshop found them. Your original file is overwritten. Folder saves the document in a folder. If you choose folder in step 8, click Choose button and navigate to Destination folder for your files. Specify how you want Photoshop to create the file names for the new processed files by selecting options from the drop-down menus. When you process large numbers of files, these naming tools can help you keep track of when and how the files were created. When you finish selecting options in the Batch dialog box, click OK to start the batch processing. This is a great way to maximize your efficiency with the repetitive tasks. What are you going to use Actions Automation for?